you doing? Andre from Beefu Techie here with a, you know, a somewhat long description video of Coco Split here. Um, a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments and asking me questions basically in my email and on Twitter. You know, how can I use this Coco Split and things like this? I just got a Mac, I have Maverick, and I will use Coco Split and things like that. And you guys followed my previous videos all those directions to a T. But realize that you know it's not really working so well for you and i noticed that once i upgraded to maverick that i too was having issues in fact i actually downgraded from maverick to mountain lion again because of that little issue either way um what one can do to alleviate that is if you already have maverick on and you like maverick which i do myself you can stay on maverick and basically just use the siphon video input now, if you guys, which are using Cam Twist, you guys won't have that issue with QT Capture. But if you're just using Coco Split and your capture device, which it shows up in QT Capture, I believe you guys should not have an issue. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that it does have problems. Um, for the for the nature of this demo, because I've had problems with. QT capture. I'm just gonna basically show you Siphon. Now, in Cam Twist, you know you're gonna go to your preferences. If you download the new 2.5 one, you'll notice that it says enable the Siphon server. Now, Siphon server is basically something that a lot of DJs basically use. You know, to do their little beats and send it to a video screen and this, that, and the other. It basically handles all that kind of stuff. What I like about it is that. I can actually send video from Camp Twist to this program as well as sending it to a, a recorder. So I can actually record in a completely different program, which is something I really, really like. Either way, um, once you have that enabled, you can go on into Coco Split. You know, Camp Twist will be there. You'll populate it. And there you go. For compression, always pick X264. For presets, I always suggest people to use very fast or super fast. You know the power of your CPU and things like that, just use your discretion. Knowing that my CPU is a 2.6, I'm going to use very fast. Sometimes I'll use super fast. It all depends. Ultra fast just looks like crap. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to select very fast. For tune, I leave it blank. I never pick anything. A lot of people say use film or animation or something like that. I never used it. Fast transcode, zero latency, and all that other good stuff. For some reason, like, it'll, it'll show perfectly fine here and stuff like that, but it's not really that great, at least in the previous versions that I used to use. Um, for the demo purpose, I'm going to actually try it, things like that. Um, for VBV max rate, which is basically your bit rate, um, use whatever... If you have five upload in your house, don't try and use t 10,000 kilobits per second here. Because remember, you're entering in a value that's from through kilobits, not megabytes. So it, you should know this. If you have a five upload, I suggest doing 2.5 or even three. Three is kind of pushing it, but 3,000 kilobits. Okay? Um, for your buffer, try to put in the same thing. For keyframes, if you're streaming to Twitch or to YouTube, always it has to be set to two keyframes. For CRF, you could put in any number from 2 to 20. It doesn't matter. I know 20 is not going to look all that great, but you know the lower the number, the better the quality. Okay, I'll put mine at a 7. Okay, And of course, we're going to check off UCBR mode, which is basically constant bit rate. No, you click OK, saves all the functions. Okay, you go in here, you select your resolution, 1280 by 720. Um, I click use source because that's what is getting from Cam Twist. So it's not scaling anything, so it's just using whatever image is getting from Co from Cam Twist and putting that into Coco Split at that same thing. Now one thing you'll notice is that sometimes when you're changing from QT capture to siphon, the FPSs will change. You just go ahead and you enter it in stuff like that. Um, audio is basically the same thing. You select your audio input. Um, anything that you have that can plug in, like I have a USB 
audio device plugged in so that this will have a secondary input to so that this way all these people on TeamSpeak don't hear me, but whatever. Um, but you know, you select your audio, you select your bit rate. I select 128. Remember, Twitch only handles up to 160. I don't know about the rest of them. I'm pretty sure you can stream 192 to YouTube. Um, sample rate 44, 100, or you can use 9600. Doesn't matter. You know, 44,100 is pretty much the standard of what everyone uses and things like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for setting up. Okay, now what's new with this Coco Split here that we're using right now is, as you can see, there's an actual live video being shown here. Now, the previous versions, they never used to show anything here. It used to just show a black screen, and until you hit that stream button, is the only time that you'll actually see video. So this is a way for you to actually tell if video is actually being sent to Coco Split. Um, now that that's pretty much it for the setup, okay? And the setup for using it on Maverick, because this is the way that I'm using it on Maverick, and I suggest it for everybody. So now for people who want to use this with YouTube, you stream or things like that. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So now, before, as you guys know, you would come in here, you'll click in this box here, and, you know, you'll pick, you can either pick Twitch, or you could pick um, file slash raw, raw, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're not going to click anything there. Just click add, okay? It's going to come up with destination, okay? You're going to go ahead, put in your destination. For me, I could stream to YouTube, so... This is basically the RTMP address for streaming to YouTube. Then you're going to be like, okay, so where do I put the stream key? Which is very simple. All you do is you hit slash, hit backslash again, and then you put in your stream key. Okay, it's that simple. Once you do that, click add. You could go down here, you can name it. I'm going to name it YouTube. And that's that. Now, one thing a lot of people don't seem to do is after they add it, they never check here to make sure that it's active. And another thing I've no Yeah, I've been messing around with this too much. Plus, I didn't add in a, a real address. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I've noticed is a lot of people have been... Um, once you add it, it doesn't become active. So you have to make sure that you check that it's active. Okay, so you check to make sure that it's active and things like that. I said I was going to try out zero latency, so let's give it a shot. So once you add it, done. Okay, make sure you click active, make sure the check is there, and then you could stream. Now, like I was trying to say before, something that's new in this version is that you could actually stream to two different sites, to multiple sites rather. So you could stream to four different sites. So if you wanted to send an image to, let's say, Twitch, Ustream, and YouTube all at the same time, you could basically go ahead and do that. So I'm going to basically send a stream to my secondary one. So go ahead, click stream. You know, it takes about four or five seconds for it to actually activate. And there we go. So obviously, because it's desktop, it's going to show it at 48 frames because it's not really doing anything. And as I can see, with using zero latency, it's actually pretty damn good. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm actually going to do some more testing with it, but it actually shows a picture and not a white image or a gray image. Something it used to do before. But either way, um, so for Tune, you guys could actually, you know, fill it in with something. Because before, Tune was not working. But... As I'm doing here now, I'm testing with you guys in this video. You know, you guys can play around with Tune and see which ones you feel works for you. And you just go ahead with it. Um, I hope that pretty much covers everyone's questions, everyone's problems. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to email me or to tweet me on Twitter at Bifuteki, which is B-I-F-U-T-E-K-I. There will be a link in the description as well as email me which will have a link or i'll just say it it's b-i-f-u-p-l-z at bifuteki.com 
which is Bifu Please at BeefuSeki.com. So, um, hopefully, you know, this does come very helpful for you guys. If not, just ask me any question. Ask me any questions, stuff, and I'll make sure to follow up with you guys because I am always checking my emails. And um, happy streaming.